guys, before <clears throat> I do my gardening, and yes, I still have my cold, so bear with me. Let's go ahead. I'm going to do an Elite Gear Zombie to show you guys um, what you should be doing with your crit. So, I've got my zombie team up. I've picked, you know, an ally. I'm going to go with Amy on this one. I have Rick. It's a drop bonus on top of the fact, oh, and I'm outside, so hopefully this record's clear enough for you guys. But, um, you know, you want to go through and you want to make sure all your we weapons are crit. So I'm going to go through and look. Now, I just got another one of these, so I'm going to hand her it over to her. Um, because the military shotgun is badass, and everyone needs to have it. But with this, she's going into zombies. So make sure all your allies have, or all your people have crit weapons. Obviously, that's what you want to do. The higher the crit, the better. I had what everybody calls the Rick gun the SRG or something stupid like that. I either disassembled it by accident or scopely took it. More than likely human error on that one and I'm super pissed and trying to get it back, which I will. So for now, I have to settle for this and I have been upgrading it like crazy, trying to get it to be that stupid ass gun that I apparently sold or disassembled. I don't sell my weapons anymore. I disassemble them for parts. So, all right, I'm going to save the team. I'm going to attack. I want to just show you guys what I do so that I know a few of you are really struggling here. And then a couple of you didn't understand what I was saying about the ARs. So I'm going to just farm through this and, um, and show you, you know, what you need to be doing on these levels. The um, five-star gears coming up next, those are obviously harder. And you're going to want to be able to make sure that you have this down to a rhythm. I don't care if you're an A++, an S1, an S1++. It, the game will always screw you. It doesn't want you to succeed. It wants you to spend money. You guys have to get that into your head. This game does not want you to do well. It's not going to ever tell you the truth. It wants you to spend more money. Spend those coins to make it through that last stage. Spend more coins to make it through the whole damn thing. Spend more money on cans so that you can get the gear. It's all about money profits for them. So if you go into it thinking that, that they're out for your money, and this isn't about perfection, it's about survival, you're good. So don't worry about having everybody alive. Don't worry about, you know, getting three stars on this. Don't stress. Bring your best team in for zombies. Bring in the best ally you can, and you're going to make it through, I promise. All right, so I always do for round one. For whatever reason, round one is always the hardest. I don't know why that is, but it, they just make the zombies like super zombies. I think it's to discourage you and, again, to spend more. If you get killed on round one, you're obviously pissed, and you want to make it through the next four stages. At least that's what we've seen to be the habit. All right, so I always... Now, if everybody... Um, I know it's a lot of people attack like this in a row. It makes sense because that's what you do. But if you switch it up, 99% of the time, you're going to get more headshots. I don't know why that is. I wish I had an answer, but you will. If you notice as I'm switching it up, I'm getting more headshots. Also, the other thing, which I didn't just do... Um, if you have a Rick on your team, use him first every time to make sure that his AR is going to pop when you need it to. 99.9% .9 of the time if you do that, it's going to pop before it goes away. Which I just kind of screwed myself on, but we're still doing alright. Now as you can see, everybody's rushes are all down there. And I'm not touching them. The only time the exception of the rule is, is because if you use their AR, they're not going to give you a headshot. The AR is just going to hit them. So there is one exception to the rule on that. And here, I'm going to show you now. Maggie's going to boost her. So that's plus 45% attack. We'll put it in a line and look, they're all alive. Not with a lot, but they're alive. 
it never kills them. It's not, it will never give you a headshot besides one. And I'm going to show you that now, Amy. Amy is good because she's awesome for a last resort. If you get cornered and your guy has one hit left from a zombie, that AR, her AR kills a zombie. It's a headshot. That's what it is. So keep that in mind when you are farm, farming or when you are doing these harder levels to get your gear. Amy does a headshot. She can save your ass if you need it. Also, if you're not getting a lot of headshots, switch up the way that you attack. And you'll get more headshots. Why? I have no answer for you. Nick figured it out months ago. I think walking might have said something. I can't even guarantee you who it came from. But what I do know is the shit works. I, I have no idea why. So say right now, I was done attacking and I had just Amy, I could use Amy to kill that zombie and make sure that Andrea stays alive. So that's where she really comes into play. Other than that, she's a garbage team. Don't put her into your, um, your raid team, your defense team, your raid team, raid slash defense. Don't put her in a tower. Don't do any of that. She's awful against humans. But decent drop. There you go. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys that so you understood completely. I know sometimes I talk and type and a lot of you go, what the hell is she talking about? That's how I started too. You can ask walking. This man has taught me damn near everything I know about this game. He and I have teamed up numerous times to learn things better. And, um, and he's just, he's really, I guess, helped me through it. So you'll learn as you go, and I used to have to bug him with a million questions about the small shit, and yes, when I asked, I felt like a dumbass. Like, what do you mean, don't use an AR, my AR? Like, isn't that what it's for? I don't understand. And no, not with zombies. Ta-da! I mean, stupid little things like this really change your game. So we're going to keep covering the stupid little things that nobody thinks about to bring up in meetings, and nobody thinks about to ask. And these little tiny tricks that are going to make it easier for you. So I hope this was helpful um, for you that the, you you guys who are struggling getting through the zombies. I'm going to go ahead and do another one right now on how I take down the humans, and then I'll do the same when the five stars come. It's basically the same method, but I want you guys to see how it goes. And maybe I know a lot of people are visual learners, and that will help you guys go along. So. I'm going to end this now, do the human one, and then I'm gonna, I have four to upload and two are already uploading. So you guys will have a lot to look at today, and hopefully it's helpful. I am so sorry it's so late. Honestly, guys, I ran myself into the ground these last over war weekend and Logan's birthday. And so I passed out way early last night. I apologize. Um, I fell asleep sitting up playing my game, if it's any you know constellation to you. But... Um, these will be up, and then once the roadmap comes for the five-star gear, you guys will be more equipped, more ready for it. And then um, I've got the scavenger hunts loading now, so hopefully that will all be helpful. All right, I love you guys. I hope everyone's doing well. Keep kicking ass. If you need anything, if you have questions, PM me. You're never bugging me. You're never a bother. you need help, reach out to me. I will build you the best team. I will help you get through these stages. Any of the leaders, Will and Hawk, they're all here 120% all of the time to help you guys out. You know, that's why we took on the leadership to help you. You know, it, trust me, it's not something everyone's like, yay, about, but we're yay about it in Hawk. So we really are here to help. Don't hesitate. Ask as many questions as you need to. If you want to one step it through with us, I will. Um, you know, there's nothing we won't do to help you guys get better and stronger. Because the better you get, the stronger you get. The better the faction gets, the stronger the faction gets. That means we all get better and get more rewards and, you know, higher in climber and cli climber. Yeah, okay. Higher in climb in the ladder of the factions and the tours and the wars. And it just, that's, you know, where we all want to go. So it's a team effort. Keep working hard. Keep doing what you're doing. 
If there's anything that you guys are missing, don't forget, let me know. If there's anything you have questions on, let me know. Honestly, bug the shit out of me. That's what I'm here for. All right, next video.